I wish I knew. Welcome back to My Husband is My Best Friend. Masika clears the air about her separation from husband Jamar Champ. Am I going to tell you who my new man is? Maybe. Maybe. Hello. Um, okay. So, can you make this one a little shorter? Like, this is a little shorter, right? Right? Um, I don't know which one yet. I want to see. Be sure to like, share, and subscribe. Um... My boyfriend doesn't like when you talk about my husband, so let's not do that, okay? <laughs> um, guys, I just, I'm a very private person, all right? So I just don't, um, you see a sex scene. You do realize that scenes are scripted and they're not real, right? Like any other actor, like, like 50 Cent and Power and Lala and Power and Holly Berry and all these other um, higher build actors and actresses, when they do love scenes, you guys know they're not real. But apparently if I have a love scene in one of my movies or TV shows, you guys call it which is so strange. It's so strange. The only difference is I don't have as extensive as a resume. Um, as these other actors, but why is it that you respect it when they do it? But when I do it, you try to diminish it to something else. That's, that's so weird. So weird. I've done several love scenes in TV shows and movies that I've done. They're scripted and they're not real. Um, they're supposed to look real because I'm an actor. So let's not try and pretend like it's something that it's not, okay? I actually just cast, got casted for a movie and I have another love scene that I have to do. Um, and you know, it's, as an actor, it's challenging. Um, you have a choreographer, you have a set designer, you have hair and makeup. You know, we wear certain coverings to make it look like we have nothing on. Um, and you know, you do your job. You do your job. Um, listen, so anyway, this is all I'm gonna say, okay? Um, I'm just going to say this because I'm not going to address the foolishness and the ignorance and the lies and the attention seeking. That's just asinine. I'm not stooping that low. I just can't do it. I don't have to make the style you need to get down like that. But um, this is probably the only thing I will say. Yeah. Yeah. Um... Yeah, I'm definitely back to work now that the writer's strike is over. But um, I have been separated for all of 2023, okay? Uh, and the only reason why I'm not fully divorced is because, well, that's on the way. Um, you know, it's just no reason for me to share my personal business. Um, you know what I'm saying? But when other people try to paint a picture that in order for them to get attention um, off of the life I have created for myself, by myself, it's just, it's asinine and it's sad. And all you can do is continue to pray for those people. But you know, the behavior they display um, is indicative of several of the reasons why I falling for divorce. Um, <clears throat> you know, but at the end of the day, I pray for healing. And um, yeah, I just, I just, it's, yeah, yeah, you know. Um, I have no reason to discuss anything else further. You know, just know that your girl is happier than she's ever been. 
Um, there is absolutely nothing worse than being with a narcissist. Uh, first and last experience with a narcissist ever. So thank God for deliverance from that. Um, but yeah, I'm happier than I've ever been. I don't remember a time I've been this happy. I really don't. And um, I'm that's like I'm not. I'm not just saying that. Um, I'm really, really happy. I really am. I'm happy where I am. And, you know, God is just, God's been busy. He's been very busy. And he's been faithful. And, you know, when... Oh, yeah, that's pretty. I love it. Thank you. You know, when you listen to God, when you be still... And you do what he tells you to do. And you, you know, there's going to be hard times. There's going to be hard days. Um, one important prayer that I prayed that I'm praying and I want you guys to start praying is pray for God's will. God's perfect will, not his permissive will. Um, pray for God's will, not your will. And when you pray that, you have to have enough faith to, to believe that God knows what's best for you and it may not be what you think it may not be what you desire but it is what you need and a lot of the times God stops what you want from happening because he has something way better for you so you know I had to let go and let God and God just he did his he did his big one he did his big one okay and, um, yeah, that's just that. That's just, that's just what it is. Do you have ones that aren't curved, like just straight? This is straight. It's straight? Yeah, it's, it goes on kind of curved. It's just the apex? Yeah. Okay. Um, how do I? Oh, there we go. Okay. Thank you. Yeah, so guys, 2024... Um, is a new chapter. I'm super excited. Um, no dead weight from 2023. No drama. You know, divorce is not fun or easy, but it's, it's just, honestly, it's the, it's the best thing that has ever happened to me. Um, it really is. It really is. And um, I'm, I'm really happy, you know, I can't, I haven't been happy in three years. <laughs> <laughs> and, um, I'm really, truly freaking happy. Like, is it, yeah. Even when you suffer from these stuff, deal with the aftermath of the damage they do. You know, dealing with a narcissist is very difficult. And you're right, even when you break free, you still have to deal with their bullshit. But you know what? I can't even see it. I'm not going to lie to you. Like, I'm in such a happy space in my life. And the people that are around me, um, I, I can't even see it. Like, it bothers me none because I know what to expect now that I've dealt with a narcissist. I know what they're going to do. And after... You know, three years of, of torment from the narcissism. It's like there's absolutely nothing that can be done that can surprise me or hurt me or woe is me. I expect it. I don't care. It's, it's sad, honestly. It's sad and it's pathetic. Um, but, you know, everybody has to answer to God at, at one point or another. You know what I'm saying? I feel like, you know, trying to get a little attention, a little clout. Whatever it is, here on this earth will cost you an eternity. So I just really pray that everybody gets right with God before, you know, judgment day occurs. <clears throat> because I know I'm, I'm, I know my heart. I know what I've done. And, um, you know, hey, it is what it is. 2024, it's the year of more. You know, the men become the bitter baby mamas now. They really do. They really do, but... 
Nothing is wilder than dealing with a narcissist. It is the most crazy experience ever. You know, I'm an amazing mother and that is first and foremost. You know, making sure my kids are sound, safe, happy and healthy is my biggest thing in life. You know what I'm saying? So that's all that it is. Um, I've been successfully co-parenting with Kari's dad for almost eight years now. You know, even in his current situation, of course, you know, he's incarcerated. And um, hey, hey, Shanice. Um, yeah. Even, you know, we co-parent just fine. You know what I'm saying? We've had, that's perfect. We've had, you know, relationship issues and we've had great, great relationship. And throughout both extremes, we co-parent just fine. Whether we were together or not together or whatever the case may be, we made it about our child and not about what it is that we felt at the moment. And I just pray that, you know, that I just pray that, that is a consistent theme. Yeah. So that's my 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 only concern in any situation is my kids. Um, but yeah, my kids are great. They are so happy. They're having the time of their little lives. Um, their mom is so happy, which is important because you know, when you're on an airplane, what do they tell you? in the event of a water landing or an evacuation or air cabin pressure change or whatever the case may be they say don't cry who crying if i'm gonna cry it's tears of joy okay i'm telling you i'm happier than i've ever been anyway you know they tell you put your mask on before securing someone else's and as a parent your first instinct is to secure your child's mask but what happens if you put the the mask on your child and then you then your child's gonna too, because they need you. So at some point you have to be like, oh, I have to put my oxygen mask on so that my child can breathe and my child can live and my child can be okay. Because if I put their mask on them and I, they, they're gonna too. So um, I'm putting my oxygen mask on myself and making sure that I can breathe. for tuning in to my husband is my best friend.